Welcome, Western Standard viewers. One thing conservative leaders learn to do right away is weed out the haters, the nutters, and the deniers of whatever passes today for received wisdom before any of these people become a distraction. Not so, Mr. Trudeau's liberals. With astonishing generosity of spirit, they accommodated for years a man whose tweets reveal him as a vicious anti-Semite, and for nearly seven years, let him feed at the federal funding trough. We speak, of course, of the odious Leith Marouf, whose community media advocacy center received over a six-year period about $600,000 in federal contracts to teach anti-racism to Canadian media. Set a thief to catch a thief, as they say. But clearly, in this subject area, Marouf was a scholar practitioner. Even as he was exposing white supremacy on the taxpayer's dime to a no doubt deliciously masochistic press corps and damning systemic racism in apartheid Canada, as he calls the government of Canada, he kept up a steady stream of vile anti-Semitic comments on his social media accounts. This week, X finally X'd him but not before he had just condemned consultant Mark Goldberg for leading a Jew said of being a, a Jewish supremacist and claiming the world knows you, that is Goldberg, knows you like to kill babies. Seriously, it's a surprise to find that there are still people who talk like that. What's really surprising though, is that these days they're not stereotypical neo-Nazis and skinheads, who I doubt these days could assemble a corporal's guard. It's now a game liberals play, and as we see on YouTube, Canadian universities and their professors in great numbers love to join in. So two questions. First, how does a bloke like Maroof ever get hired by the federal government in the first place, even one led by the persistently just not ready and ideologically confused Justin Trudeau? Second question, once hired, how did he stay hired? Good questions both. Despite puffy-cheeked expressions of amazement, oh, the shock, the horror, how could we have possibly known? The truth is that the Liberals had plenty of warnings. The only answer that makes any sense to me is that there's a paternalistic blind spot in liberal groupthink. When white people are racist and say vile things, they must be jumped on from a great height. First, because saying vile things is wrong. Second, because if you condemn white racism, you'll never look bad in ethnic communities where you're touting for votes. But when people who aren't white say hateful things about Jews and even about other non-white people, well, cut them some slack. Perhaps like church burnings, the prime minister finds it understandable. We still need their votes. As one enthusiastic tweeter put it, the entire anti-racism, DEI, that's diversity, equity, and inclusion, that entire DEI industry needs to be defunded and destroyed. It is and always has been an absolute fraud. Taxpayer dollars should not be going to people like that. Quite so. Wish I'd said it first. For the Western Standard, I'm Nigel Hannaford. Canadian Shooting Sports Association. Without the CSSA, our gun rights would have been taken long, long ago. These guys are on the front lines uh, helping to draft smart and intelligent firearms regulations and legislation in Canada, and more importantly, educating the public about how we keep guns out of the hands of the wrong people. You become a member, it's absolutely worth every penny.